Hello, this is Raziel Cohen with ndftraining.com and today we're looking at a really cool holster option from HCM Holsters. When it comes to duty use holsters, there are very few brands that kind of stand out in regards to quality and durability like Safariland. Safariland is a very big name brand, they're very high quality and they're known to kind of have the reputation. Along with that reputation also comes cost. Now you do get what you pay for, but a lot of people are looking for either customizable options or alternative options that are not solely focused on law enforcement and military personnel. The reason for that is that if you have a light or if you have a compensator or if you have something that might not be specifically available through Safari Land options, but you need that level of retention, then it's not gonna be available to you from their brand. They're, they're focusing on a very, very tight, specific group of people with a specific uh, set of like weapon systems and that's pretty much much it. So it very much leaves you limited in what you're capable of being able to get and being able to modify your system. Uh, on top of that, Safari Land, since they are working for law enforcement and military brands, there's not a huge amount of customizable options unless you go and kind of like um, have a third party company um, make those options available for you. So along comes a company called HCM Holsters and they make a lot of really cool holsters besides for like general like EDC use of duty holsters and that's really what I want to be able to focus on today. So the one we're looking at today, this is a kind of, I'm not going to say replica because it's it's to the same standard as a Safari Land holster, but this is a level two retention option that you're able to get. They have a couple different options in regards to again what you want specifically, but this holster specifically is being used for my Glock 19 and it has has a mod light flashlight on the bottom. If you're familiar with mod light flashlights, they're very, very big. So you need to be able to have a alternative option of being able to have a, a holster that works for that. And this is one of the holster options that they offer. They also, if you're someone who, uh, who likes running um, OLED flashlights, just because they're very simple and very affordable um, for, for what they are, they have options for concealed carry holsters and stuff like that, where the holster will have an opening on the bottom where you can attach your um, charging station to it. So for those of you who know, the, Safari, the OLED um, flashlights offer for a rechargeable option. So through the bottom of the holster, you'd be able to attach it and be able to use it that way. For more duty use like flashlights, something like the model light and the stream light, they have those offerings as well. They have basic offerings in regards to like the design, like a simple black um, outside or a uh, basket weave. You could also get anything pretty much printed onto it. They have Cordura, uh, Cordura wrapped options. And so far it's actually been proven to be a very, very nice holster. Now, what's great about them is that similar to uh, what a lot of optics, Optix companies did is that they're not trying to recreate the market. They're not trying to re-standardize a new, a new concept. What they're just trying to do is put out a really quality product and offer something that's not being currently offered in, in the general market. Besides for the different options and colors you're able to get in regards to the design of the holster, you're also able to use Safari Land compatible parts, which I think is very important. So if you already have a Safari Land system and something happened to your holster or you want to just have options that are different customizable options or if you have different types of uniforms that you want to be able to work with it, you could also have their compatible parts. So right now I have the quick detach system that's attached where you just cl click on the bottom and you can pull out the holster just like that. And right now, this is one of HTM's holsters and I can switch it to any other holster that I might have available to me. So right now, just as a comparison, this probably is gonna be closer to the Safari Land 6000 series. So I have a few of the different holsters here that we can look at. So right over here, this is the Safari Land 6000 series holster that I've used for a very, very long time. And this one you see is the H HCM holsters option. This one is the basket weave. Safari Land does also offer a basket weave option, but you could tell that the quality is very, very nice when it comes to the HCM holsters. Now, this is the Safari Land 7000 series, which over the time I've been using it, I probably would push people more to go towards the 6000 series if you're looking for specifically that type of style, or you could go for an HCM holster, which also is significantly lower in price while still being customizable. Now, if you look at here, if you look over here, you'll see that the Safari Land has the level three retention and it has the hood, while over here it's the level two retention. So again, I'm not, I'm sure they offer all, all, all the, like alternatives to that as well, but I could use the same retention that's going to be available there. And what's nice about this is that if you're not used to a level three, that can be a really big learning curve to really get um, a lot of practice on. So level two is again, that like intermediate be between getting from level one and level three. So having just a hood to be able to practice, I think is very valuable and it makes it very simple to be able to use. Again, having the availability to be able to use Safari Land compatible parts is amazing because there's a lot of aftermarket parts available. It's just about being able to adapt it to their systems. So 
This one, again, is their uh, duty holster. This is a level two option. There's a lot of different customizable options when it comes to being able to use it. If you want basket weave, if you have simple black, if you want Cordura wrapped, if you want special prints that are like really specific to you, they can have it printed onto the holster itself. This one specifically is for the Glock 19 with the Mod Life flashlight. They have one for stream lights, they have one for O lights. They have a lot of really great options when it comes to being able to use it. So if you're looking for a duty use holster that's not gonna really break the bank while still offering all the customizable options that you might want on your holster, this might be very well the best option that you could be able to take a look at. I'm going to do more videos in the future. I still wanna do a lot more training on it. I just got it recently, so I wanna do a little bit more practice to really get a feel for the holster. But as of now, just based on initial impressions and based on the fact that they're using already available Safariland compatible parts, I have very little doubt that there's anything that's gonna go wrong with this holster especially for the fact that they designed it for duty use. I know based on the people I'm speaking to in the company that they're already making this for operation, like special operations team that requested holsters from them specifically. So clearly there's a demand from people that are gonna be using it far more than the average person would, um, which I think is cool. It just kind of gives more backing to the quality of the product. So if you wanna have any more videos on this, if you have any questions about it specifically, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'll make sure to do a more in-depth comparison video if that's something you guys would like to see. This is Raziel Cohen with NDFTraining.com. Thank you for watching.